Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's a dog barking right when I was going to do my intro. Let it bark. Welcome to an episode of No Script News. And today I have more pictures and news on the Xbox Cyberpunk 2077 limited edition console. So I reported, reported, ha! Ah, I showed you guys a few uh, days ago a leaked picture of Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, Xbox One console and uh, it's glorious it is um, later on they showed video of it a 3d concept of it um, showing the different lights and different features and it looks pretty sweet man um, for limited edition consoles um, there's some out there that are, are pretty cool and this one is definitely on top of the list I debated hard and long if I should get it or, or not and I decided not to however I was able to pre-order the controller from Walmart thanks to a tipster on um, Twitter. Um, shout out to this guy right here. So I ordered from Walmart. This is the first time I think this is the first time I've ordered anything from Walmart. So we'll see. Hopefully it comes and I'll be able to show you guys do an unboxing and do a closer look video too. I'm going to try to spice it up this time. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I keep on saying um. I keep on catching myself saying um. um. Ah, delicious it's like freaking fuel for the soul um, but they just they just didn't release the Xbox 360 limited edition controller or the console they also have this hard drive and I've been needing a hard drive um, I just cleaned my hard drive recently so I didn't buy the cyberpunk 2077 one but I was so close it was in the car I was gonna check out but it cost a hundred dollars they have a Seagate 2 terabyte hard drive that you can use for your Xbox or pretty much anything else. And it comes with some cool little fancy cord, little translucent one, um, almost look neon. So it goes with the whole cyberpunk theme. And then you turn it around and it has a uh, Where's Johnny. And I believe Where's Johnny is going to be a big theme in the cyberpunk uh, world and the cyberpunk story because I me i make lore videos on cyberpunk world and i've been digging into soul killer the immortality chip and its creation i made videos on that too you should check it out and i'm starting to believe that johnny silverhand has the immortality chip he used the immortality chip or somewhere into that effect because when he wakes you up in that trailer that they released he looks holographic, so I'm thinking something there, like Ghost in the Shell. Um, but we'll see what, what turns out. And so, we always see this Where's Johnny theme going out in different parts of the trailer. You can see it in the background. So that's going to be very interesting. I like how that's on there. And the skull head, I have no idea what that is. It reminds me of the Toy Story head, but um, that's just me. And if you're interested, they also have some nifty headsets, man. See how it says no future down there? All right, it's pretty cool. On the other side, it has the uh, Samurai logo. If you don't know what that is, Samurai logo. And then on top, obviously, it shows the Samurai. I'm taking this one's inspired by Johnny Silverhand as well. And that's what the controller is inspired by. It also comes with, the, it don't come with the charging dock. You can buy the charging dock for about 50 bucks. I was this close to buying it, but none of my other ones have charging docks. So I decided not to. I didn't want to have it in the background, just one with the charging dock and then the rest without. It's kind of, you know, tacky. <laughs> and you know me, I'm all about being high-end and shit. But again, it's pretty nifty. Um, it has a Samurai logo down there, again. A little bit of inspiration from Johnny Silverhand to go with the controller. And the same with the back of the Xbox console. It has a big old graffiti, no future, uh, with the Samurai logo as well. And the little spider down there and where is Johnny. And if you're looking for a little more colorful headset, they have a cyberpunk themed one as well for you. Um, this is probably one of the best looking consoles that I've seen. But then again, I like the whole ugly beautiful look of it. There was some other nice ones out there too, like the Gears of War one looked pretty nifty. When you go to PlayStation, I didn't really like the Death Stranding one too much. But man, this one looks very, very, very fresh. So I'm not gonna buy the console. I can't justify it, especially this late in the in the uh, cycle. I mean, next gen comes out in six months, guys. 
So unless you have money, unless you have a job and you're still working now and you don't have no inclinations that you're going to be laid off, I say go for it, man. You know, sell your Xbox One that you have now and try to see how much you can get from it. Um, there's some Xbox X's for 300 so I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I can get maybe 150 or so. You know, that's just me, though. You know, this would have been one of those things where I would have liked to actually put it just behind a case, you know what I mean? And not actually use it. But, la B. Such is life, man. You gotta prioritize. I gotta be grateful, though. I was in a position where I can still buy the controller. At least I have that. And it's funny because the other day I was scrolling to Microsoft.com just to see if they had any consoles. I mean, sorry, just in case they had any... Uh, controllers coming out especially uh, the cyberpunk 2077 one and it said to check back in two days it was all glitched out I didn't know what to expect but I figured it had to be cyberpunk 2077 related because of the glitches um, and the whole technical aspect of the glitches so and it turns out it was which is pretty cool for people who can afford it I guess I just won't eat, you know, I, I just won't eat. I was gonna get McDonald's breakfast because I haven't eaten out in two months. I decided not to, that's like $8 I saved, you know, so that goes towards the controller. <laughs>